Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm gonna do a quick video and here after I do this video, uh, either today or tomorrow, I'm gonna do a video pertaining to uh, the difference between a high quality, real, authentic, genuine leather jacket. Yeah, I got one. It's nice and I'm loving it. All right, so we're gonna do a video about that. Rocking the Pantera. We're gonna do a video about that, okay, after this. And so I want it nice and cleaned up. I've already cleaned it with a, a, some warm water and a towel. Clean up all the, any dirt or residue stains that were on it. It wasn't too bad, but there was some stains. Anyways, I wanna have it cleaned up. I wanna show you how to clean it up. I wanna show you how to polish it, real quick video. And then when I get it all done and it looks great, I'm gonna do a video about uh, the difference between a real leather jacket, I'm gonna show it again, all cleaned up and everything in the next video. And I'm gonna show you the difference between a real leather jacket, a fake leather jacket, and a, um, the difference between, I got three leather jackets right now, but I wanna show you the difference between a fake, real cheap, flimsy, thin, plastic uh, jacket, then, um, a mid quality jacket that's that is leather but it's just really uh worn down and it really ain't great quality and then a good quality leather jacket that's a uh, hundred dollars plus like your hundred to two hundred three hundred dollar jacket or even higher quality um and i'll show you that and this right here that we're working on is a high quality authentic real leather jacket this leather when you know when you know you got a real leather jacket when you wear it and you move it around, you'll hear it, it's loud. I'm not gonna say that they're all heavy because there is some smaller, not smaller, but uh, thinner uh, materials is lamb skin, goat skin. Um, the, thicker, the thicker ones, in my opinion, are the horse hide, the cow hide. Um, I believe that this is what this is, this is a heavy duty, cow hide or horse hide leather really really loud when you when you move it around you can hear it and the other other thing of how to tell is smell it it has a smell of leather it smells like real leather a fake leather a fake jacket will smell like chemicals and plastic okay it'll have a, a, a odor uh, not, not a good smell a leather jacket will smell good, like wood. It'll have a natural smell to it and it just smells like leather. So, um, what I did also is I polished this with some fine wool. I actually took the same wool that I cleaned my chrome rims. I took some steel wool, a little piece, and I polished it real good. And I can see my reflection through that damn thing. Um, they were dirty. The reason why I did it is because on the inside there was some corrosion and rust from when it got rained on. I cleaned it all up so you can't see it anymore, but there's just a little bit of rust still left. It hit it real good and it'd get all that off. So use some steel wool. This is what I use for my chrome rims. They had rust when I got them. They were all beat up like like dirty and they had rust on them. And when I hit it with the steel wool, zero, 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 four zeros, this is the finest steel wool that there is, almost like hair. It doesn't scratch metal, it polishes it. You can use this on rims and it brings them back looking brand new, takes the rust off and everything, the dirt, the grime, and makes them shiny. After you clean it and wash it with soap, you use this with soap and water, on metal and it polishes it and then after you're done you wipe it off and buff it and it'll be like you'll have a mirror shine so you want to do that to metal and chrome so these I haven't even done yet they're still kind of dirty that was dirty this is the only one I did you can see the difference anyways so we got coconut oil we got um, we got this stuff right here it's good for leather, it really shines it. We got some uh, shoe polish. This is pretty much like 
like this. I'm gonna show you the coconut oil method, uh, mostly here. And I got a little, you wanna use like a little rag, something that doesn't leave a lot of lint, um, maybe like a, a microfiber uh, rag, and some little black shoe polish just in case if there's holes. Like, like um, there's some areas that it, there's, it's not even black anymore. So I, I've been polishing this so I can show you the before on some of this here. The belt was real dried out. Oh, and this stuff right, spots like this, what I, what I mean by like um, damage or holes, there was like a little hole somewhere, I don't remember. Not a hole, but it like the, it was a damaged spot on the leather and it was like real light. You can use the shoe polish to blacken it. Now this is pretty much the side that hasn't been touched and it's, it's still, you know. And this side, you can see the difference. This side is where I polished. All right, I started off with that. Then I, uh, I hit it with some of that, and I, I should have used that first, get it, get it oiled up. So you can see spots on the jacket that's worn, you know, and dry, and also dried out. This one is decent. This one is wore the fuck out. It's so dried out. I don't, I don't know if I can fix that too well. But we're gonna try, and the back of it is dried out. So, we're gonna get all that fixed up. And sometimes, uh, let's find a little spot we can we can do it on. All right, let's try, try that neck area, all right? See the difference? It's giving it that shine, making it look new. I don't wanna touch the metal. I'm gonna stay away from the metal because I want to be able to polish the metal here later on. Look at the, look at that. I haven't even touched that, but look at that, it's shiny. See the difference? Shiny. So, we're gonna keep going. I want to, I want to polish the whole jacket. I'm not gonna show you the whole uh, jacket, me being polishing the whole jacket, because it'll take a lot of time and I'll, I don't want to take a little bit of you guys time to, and I appreciate you guys for watching this is Dr. Scorpio subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about the video I'm gonna make a video about me wearing the jacket my real leather jacket and I'm gonna show you the difference between this and a fake jacket look at that that, that looks great it looks good you can see around here where it's still dry Around the button that I haven't touched. So, all right, and another thing you can do is you can take this, and polish it. I want to do a spot that's. I want to find a spot that's really dried out. This is so dry that it's just soaking it up. It's already looking different. I, used, I showed you earlier how cracked and dry it was. It's already starting to look polished and more shiny. This, is pro this jacket has probably never been cleaned or polished. And if it has, it's probably been years, decade maybe, maybe longer or it never has. So anyways, Take a little bit of this. All right. Wow. This little area, it just like really darkened it and get that lint off. That's why I don't like using rags. I really use my hand if I can. But this little area is starting to look so much more shinier and polished. It's looking good, man. So that's how you do it. You can use these products, coconut oil. Um, I've heard of mink uh, 
polished. I don't know if that's really good. I've heard different comments about that. You can use that. It's pretty much similar to this. You put your hand in it or you use a little rag and you go around and around and just put a little bit in there and you buff it. Uh, you can use this stuff and you can also use this for the areas that it's just missing like color, you know, it, there's no color in there. So it was the area that was really dried out or it was missing color. I don't remember where it was, but we can try it right here. Try it right here. So. Sorry, I don't have a tripod. I had one for Christmas. This is good on all black leather. You squeeze it. Shake it real good. And then you push high pressure and it comes out. Kind of like a paint marker. You can see where I applied it right here at the top. I didn't put too much. And then where I have it. So it pretty much just give, gives it the black color back. So anyways, there's just a few tips of how to clean. I've already told you how to clean with a, a rag and uh, warm water and just go in circular motions, get some stains off. And then you also polish with any kinds of polished products that are natural like coconut oil or this is a good brand, protects it and gives it some shine. These are really good for leather. Mostly shoes, but they're good for all leather, even leather jackets. And then some leather polish to give it color if it's lacking color. So, anyways, that's it. Hope you guys liked the video. Stay tuned to see the review on the jacket. And stay tuned. Thanks for watching. It's Dark and Scorpio.